Okay, but let's start global and let's talk first about Google. Well, I suppose I should refer to Google as Alphabet because that is the name of the company officially. Man, I hate that revision that they did. But its principal business, of course, is internet search, but it offers advertising, technology services, cloud computing, and software in the form, for example, of the Android platform. It's also the world's largest supplier of email boxes with its Gmail business. This is the company which is currently, I think, the second largest by market capitalization. It was briefly number one about a month and a half ago, but since then I think Apple has rallied slightly and Google went down slightly. $496.02 billion, so about $500 billion. That's so many rands, I'm not even going to try and bother with the eight conversion. Trillion. Yeah, eh? about 8 trillion rand. Yeah. <laughs> <My soul. laughs> Price to earnings ratio of 30.57, not in the habit of paying dividends, established by Larry and Sergey. Mm. I mean, this is really, it's uh, like the internet utility. It's sort of a default. People talk about Google and Googling mm. things. It's another way of, it's like a utility. It sort of yeah. is the internet, right? It's entrenched in, our, in, a, in everyone's lives. I mean, I mm. don't know anyone that doesn't use Google services. And, and they've really been so progressive in staying ahead of the curve. Um, big presence in mobile with their Android platforms. Search was obviously what's founded. And, and I think they're, they're starting to box a lot smarter now. So what mm. you've got is you've had this very entrepreneurial environment and you know they're putting out the, these way out there projects, these moonshots. Moon yeah. um, but now what they're doing is Alphabet came along and, and they've managed to kind of split the business into the, the core Google. So that was the reason for the Alphabet Correct. thing was to say that's the listed holding company yeah. and Google is the search business and then all the other things. Yeah. I yeah. don't know if they needed to do that, but the market likes it because it contains and ring fences the moonshots so that you can see how much money they're spending exactly. on them, which you sort of discipli it. disciplines yeah. them. Yeah, yeah and, and I think it's been good and they have kind of stuck to based on how much cash they're generating and how much they're spending within these other bets, they call mm. it. Um, and, and the market has liked it because it's been able to value the rump of the business being yeah. Google and YouTube and the search. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that. YouTube because, I mean, maps and search and so on just make so much money is not mm. even funny. But YouTube is important too because my sense is where broadcast television was dominant 20 years ago. What I'm noticing amongst youngsters, kids, millennials mm. and so on is people are more inclined to look at things on YouTube and watch YouTube clips as their preferred sort of entertainment solution as well. So yeah. the advertising platform there is very strong and Google's ability to customize your viewing and your ads is very significant. Yeah, I think what I like about the whole Google ecosphere is that they've got the hardware and the capability to store those huge amounts of data and video yeah. in that regard. And so, you know, I, I would back them to, even in these moonshots, be the people who, who have these yeah. groundbreaking initiatives. Let's have a look at the share chart, because I mentioned that they'd gone to the top and then they'd slipped back a bit. So I guess where they were at $800 a share, that was the period where they were briefly the world's most valuable company. My view anyway is that this is a must-have in an international offshore portfolio. 30 PE is quite high, no dividend yield. Are you inclined mm -hmm. to tip it in that way, recommend it? Yeah, I mean, look, it's always going to be pricey. You know, mm. they they trailblazers in in that sector. I like it. They they growing revenue mm. consistently. Um, big share buyback announced end of last year, five billion dollars. That's going to add value to shareholders. Mm. There's not a lot not to like. Mm. So yeah, I'm hot on it. Hot on that one. Yeah. Good.